I disappeared. Well, I didn't actually disappear, but I know that it seems like I did because for the past couple months, I haven't been posting any videos. Now, while I've never been the most consistent content creator, since I started this, I've pretty much kept things moving along. And after a meeting I had at the end of 2022 with a friend of mine who's a very popular YouTuber who gave me a lot of encouragement, I felt so inspired that 2023 was gonna be the year that I just knock it out of the park. But actually, 2023 kind of sucked. There was what I call the appliance apocalypse, which wasn't limited to just appliances at my home and studio, but it was bigger things and also included my cars and studio equipment. And there was the storm and thank God nobody was hurt, but I'm still cleaning up from that. There were a couple of projects I took on that took literally months longer to complete than I anticipated. People from my past came back into my life to either feed off my soul, throw a monkey wrench into the whole situation, or both. And then... There was a tragedy involving somebody that I had just met, who was one of the most amazing and special human beings I've ever known. And it took me a long time to realize that it affected me a lot more than I thought it would. There's not a single day that goes by that I don't think about him. Now, while all these things did make for a bad year and affected my ability to put out content regularly, I do realize that they're the result of my own choices, like not maintaining the things that I should maintain, deciding to switch computer platforms in the middle of several big projects, and of course, being too easygoing about who I let into my life. But the main thing, or things, because there's really two of them that caused me to disappear and quit making videos, were this. First, I just needed to live my life. And there were just other things I needed to do. Like doing things with the people I love that I'll never get another chance to. There have been times in the past where I got so focused on my career and the work that I would just grind it out for months, a year, two years, three years, four years, five years. And I wasn't there for the years, people that needed me. Seven years, I just didn't want to have that happen again. And there was music that I needed to do. And that requires a lot of time. But I've never regretted the time I put into working on my own music, but I've certainly regretted the time that I didn't. There was once this 10 year stretch where I worked almost every single day with hundreds of artists, and some of those records ended up being the biggest and best I ever did. I put everything into every project I worked on, but I never worked on my own stuff. And now, going back through these old hard drives, I see names and projects that I don't even remember. But most of them I do. And a lot of them were really good, but sometimes the music didn't get released or the artists wouldn't even come back for the masters or they just stopped. I think it was more important to me than it was to them. And that brings me to the second main reason why, oh, thanks, here, hold this a sec. Which brings me to the second main reason I disappeared, which is probably my best and worst characteristic, my willingness to jump into anything 100%. The good thing about that is that I'll get things done, I'll, I'll get out and lead the charge. The bad point is, is that sometimes I'm leading that charge and I look around and there's nobody else out here in the battlefield with me. Sometimes I'll find myself in the middle of a project and realize that it probably wasn't the right thing at the right time and I probably should have thought about it before I dove right in. As long as I've had this YouTube channel, my videos have focused mostly on engineering and mixing because that's what I'm known for and I've had a lot of success with it. But they're really hard to do and it's partially because I get a little tongue-tied when I'm explaining technical things. Stuff or really art stuff, it's still uh, art, artsy. No matter whether it's pop stuff or stoops, mm. no matter whether it's pop stuff or soupy, mm. jeez. And that's probably because I don't even know how to explain what I do because I never went to a school to learn this stuff. I just kind of made it up as I went along. I mean, the whole reason I even learned how to mix and produce was because I wanted to sing and play my own songs and tell my own stories. But other artists heard those recordings and started hiring me to record their stuff, which led to working with other artists and more projects and more records. And I really dove into being the best that I could be at doing those things. So eventually I went from being known as the mandolin player who sang his strange songs about spirits and angels to being a professional producer and mixer. 
But that was not my original intention. So after a slight delay of a couple decades or so, I started working on my own music again and posting clips of that on Instagram along with my stories and talking about the different projects that I'm working on as well. And the response has been great and I feel really good about it. So I decided to take that format and start putting that on YouTube. Which led to me filming and filming and filming and filming and filming and making content. And just as I was getting ready to start editing all that stuff, I got some really great recording projects in that I was really excited about, which would have made finishing these videos hard, but not undoable. However, that's when my old computer, which had been showing some odd behavior recently, finally gave up the ghost. I guess it comes back to that whole maintenance thing. Luckily, my superhero friend Ray lent me a computer that allowed me to continue doing the music projects, but I still needed a more up-to-date computer to do videos. And the process of finding the right computer and getting it all set up, as well as catching up on all my music projects, ended up putting me on the content creator's sideline for a while. And it was driving me crazy every single day knowing that I wasn't putting out videos. But after a couple weeks, kind of hit me that Maybe I should just relax and take a little extra time and actually think about this new direction I'm going in. Is it really what I want to do? Am I excited about doing it? And I realize, yes, I'm excited about it. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I have the new computer set up because I'm making this video and I made this one last week. However, I can't guarantee that I'll be putting out videos on a regular basis, but I will be putting out more videos. And I can't say that I won't disappear again at some point in the future. But if I do, just know that there's some sort of story behind it. And when I get back, I'll tell you all about it.